feel the game is far more important for Arsenal than it is for Chelsea because I think we've got um, this. The league is gone for us. Uh, whereas uh, Chelsea has still got the Champions League to play for and the FA Cup. This is our really our only realistic chance of winning the trophy. As far as I'm concerned, I think the Europa League might be a bit too difficult now with Alexis going. So I really believe that the uh, the game is far more important to us than it is to Chelsea. But at the end of the day, both teams badly need a win. I think in terms of our season, uh, we're still in the FA Cup, we're still in the Champions League. I know we've got Barcelona, but you know anything's possible. OK, we're probably not going to win the league. So I think in terms of... It's not a paramount importance that we win it, but um, I'd like to win it, let's put it like that. Well, the season's been, so far this season, we've been atrocious away from home. We've only won three, uh, three games away from home this season, which is not good enough. And uh, our home form has actually kept us in the, top, in the top six, otherwise we wouldn't even be in the top six at the moment. It's really, really been a poor start this season. And unless things improved, I think that's where we'll end up, in sixth place. Look, we're still in the League Cup semi-final, um, albeit that we've got to get a result at, at Arsenal at the Emirates. We're still in the FA Cup where we've got a home tie in the fourth round. So presumably we beat Newcastle, we're, you know, we're in the fifth round there, we're getting closer and closer there. And of course we're still in Europe, we're still in the Champions League. Um, so uh, we're still in all four competitions, if you include the league. And certainly in with a massive chance, a great chance of finishing in the top four. I don't think it's been particularly. Um, it's not been. It's not like last season. And I think that I think the main difference between last season and this is that I think we're just. It's well documented our squad is too thin, and I just think we've become too stretched and perhaps we're a little tired, or perhaps we're maybe conserving energies through games, not actually putting everything in. <laughs> I'm not happy about the Alexis situation going to Manchester United after what happened with Van Persie. I thought we'd see the end of it. Um, but it was coming, I suppose. He was going to go Man City. I'm surprised now he's going to Man United. But uh, I'm not happy that we're not... We don't seem to be buying anyone. I hope we do buy someone. But at this present moment, Mkhitaryan coming in, if it comes off... I'm not so sure, I don't know, I don't, I think it's, you can't really replace with Alexis, can you, so, no, I'm not, not really happy about it at all. Well, it's well documented that um, Antonio Conte wasn't happy with the dealings in the summer, so therefore the emphasis is on this transfer window, I think the club's tr definitely trying to do something. Um, we, as we know, we, we've gone in with a, a late bid, um, which I think was pretty pathetic, really, for Arsenal's Alexis Sanchez. Um, it's well documented that we want Alexandro Juventus, and we don't know we're going to go the full, full um, whack on what they're after for, for, for their man. But we are active right now. But it does seem that um, we're trying to uh, trying to get a, a target man in. Hence the reason why the likes of Crouch and Carroll and Lorente are being linked. And of course, um, Zeko at Roma, I wouldn't mind him, I've got to tell you. And of course, um, we've got one player in, which is Ross Barkley, which I think was an excellent bit of business. Really, really good. But we need more players. We need three or four as a minimum in this window. Uh, so it's too early to call right now at the moment. Obviously, we're out there and we're obviously trying to do deals. Um, I see we're trying to do a deal with the, the, the young Brazilian that plays for Roma at the back. Um, we're involved in quite a, quite a few um, sort of linkages with various players at the moment, but nothing as of, of yet. So it's very, very difficult to say. I just hope that we, um, you know, we spend a few quid uh, because we, we, we definitely need beefing up for the second part of the season, because uh, as I said, we are stretched as a squad, and that is the difference between the last season where we didn't have so many games to play, and of course this season where we do.
My team for uh, my team for Chelsea on uh, Wednesday night is in goal. I'll pick Czech. The back five or the back three and the two uh, wing backs. I'll put the two wing backs as Bellerin and Kalasnic. I'll have Mustafi, Kishoni, and Monreal. Ramsey, Wiltshire in the middle uh, with Ozil and Lacazette and Danny Welbeck because I don't think Alexis will be playing as he will be already gone I think by then so that will be my team. Right so my side would be uh, Thibaut Courtois, the back three would be uh, Rudiger, Antonio Rudiger, it would be Cesar Espinacueta um, and I'd play young um, Anders Christensen and the reason why I played them three and I wouldn't play Gary Cahill is because that line can move further forward. Uh, in holding central midfield I'd play Angola Kane when he picks himself did he? And this is where I'd get a little bit of stick because I would play back a Yoko uh, and I'd just tell him to power the ball forward, power the, just keep powering the ball forward. Um, I'd play Marcus Alonso and I'd play Zaba Costa instead of Moses. Now this is where I've got two choices because I'm thinking maybe I'd just play the three, i.e. William, Pedro and Eden Hazard because I think when we play those three um, we're really quick, slick, the, the passing, the movement, you know, when they're flicking it on one another, we're really, you know, we're really pushed up with, with that side. Um, I think it would work, but assuming he doesn't and he goes with Morata up top, I'd go one side Pedro and the other side obviously Eden Hazard. I'm predicting a. Well, I, I'm hoping. My heart is hoping for a one-nil win, but my head says it's going to go to penalties, and uh, hopefully we'll change the key. But I'm not going to make any predictions on the penalties, but. That's how, that's how it's going to go for me. Well, I think it's perfectly poised, isn't it, really? Uh, I don't think neither side's got an advantage. I understand the away goals come in to play, obviously, with regards to the um, extra time period. But um, we've got the best record out of any club at the Emirates, and I don't see no reason why we can't go there and get a result. I thought we were really unlucky in the league not to get three points. And we are due a victory against Arsenal, um, for sure. I thought we were the best side in the first leg too. Um, I'm going to go for a scoreline of Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2. Hope to see you on, hope to see you on uh, Wednesday, Tone, and let the best team win, eh? I'll see you there, Claude. I'll see you after the game, no doubt. Um, well, I'll probably see you before the game. Um, outside the away end as we normally do mate and uh, I'll see you round the old back um, beyond the North Bank uh, for the after match one and may the best team win mate as long as it's Chelsea of course <laughs>